everyone welcome to simply learns youtube channel in this session we will learn how to eliminate duplicate rows in sql but before we begin let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends then consider getting subscribed to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from simply learn now without further ado let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to eliminate duplicate records in sql table now we can eliminate the duplicate records in SQL by a few methods. So we will use the most simplest ones. The first one is using the inner join along with a where clause. And the second one is a simple and the humble distinct command. Now we have a brief idea on the methods. Let's understand them in a much more detailed way through a practical demonstration. Now let's get back to the MySQL workbench to understand the codes in a much better way. So now we are on the MySQL workbench and we will get access to our Simply Learn database and we are in the Simply Learn database. So previously we used to work on our employee table. So let's not work on the same employee table since we have actual data there. Let's try to duplicate that table so that we will have some duplicate entries in between. So we will be changing the employee ID numbers and we will also be using the same employee ID numbers. So the employee ID has some details to it. So we'll be understanding that in a much more detail while we are executing the commands. And uh, we will also try to remove the primary key from the table. So I'll also explain why we are going to include the primary table and also we'll explain the usage of eliminating it. So when you have the primary key in the table, SQL Workbench or any SQL will automatically stop you from adding duplicated values. But let's say if you add a duplicate entry with a new primary key, right, then it will not stop you. So we'll also have a demonstration about what to do in such scenarios. So now let's try to quickly create a duplicate employee table, which will be employee table two. And then we will try to add some duplicate entries into it. Remember, we will not use the primary key here. So the code will be create table E-M-P-L-O-Y-E-E -E, table two. And uh, everything will be same, which is from the previous table, which will be the employee ID, integer type, employee name, character type, this character type pin code will be integer and normally we include the primary key in this way primary key brackets open em so this is the way how we add the primary key but we are not going to add it since we want to know what happens if we enter data which also has the duplication of the primary key right so we will not give any primary key over here Let's quickly run this. There you go. The new duplicated table of employee table has been created. Let's try to insert the same values with some duplication. There you go. I have pasted the command for inserting the values. And if you observe clearly at the end, I have repeated the values of Tony, Katie, Summer, June, and Gloria. So these five will be the duplicate values. And also we are trying to enter the duplicated primary key. Since we did not declare the ID as the primary key, it will accept all these values. Let's quickly run this. And there you go. The values have been successfully entered into the table. Let's quickly see if we have the duplication. Select star from employee table. Control enter there you go so you can see the duplicate values are also added onto the table now how do you remove these duplications remember we discussed the distinct one distinct method which is the second one so that happens to be the most simplest one let's see how it works so here we will write a simple select command select distinct star
from the employee table two. Now this will give us the distinct values, right? But again, when you run this particular command, which is select star, you will have all the details back again, right? Our job is to eliminate them. So what we will do is we'll create a duplicate table. So let's name it as DUP table. So create table and duplicate table will be the name. Now quickly execute this command. And there you go. Now we have the data which we obtain from the distant command is stored into the table named as duplicate table. Now let's quickly drop the employee table to. the table has been successfully dropped so when we run the same command once again it says simply learn that we did not find any table by the name employee table 2 that means it's been eliminated now the next thing we need to do is rename it so what we're trying to do is we are trying to use the alter table and we are trying to rename duplicate copy to employee table 2 so that we have the actual table here after eliminating the duplicated values it's not dupe copy it's actually dupe table right there you go now let's execute this successfully done now if we execute this particular select command you can see we have the cleaned data without any duplicate entries this was one of the simplest ways of eliminating duplicates in a sql table now let's try to get a step ahead and try to use some join commands and where commands and where conditions and using those we will try to eliminate the duplications in a table now we are talking about a table which does have the you know primary key and the data will be duplicated let me explain you how now let us declare the primary key as employee id the key is emp id right now we do have a primary key now there is no way okay let's try to create this uh, before that let's try to truncate employee table 2 so we can use the not drop table we can use the truncate so let's replace drop with truncate so that the data which we have an employee table will be removed there you go now we will or let's quickly drop the table because we are trying to create the new table right so let's create the new table so once we have executed the drop table command the table has been successfully removed now let's try to create this particular table control enter there you go the table got successfully created now let's try to duplicate the same entries remember i'm not changing the primary key here now when i run this command i will get an error which says primary key cannot be duplicated so here you can see duplicate entry for nine and you cannot have the duplicate entries right this is one way to avoid duplications but what if someone comes up with a brilliant idea to replace the primary key now if i change the primary key as 17 18 let's say we also have this data copy Let's duplicate this. Right. This will be our 19 and this will be our 20. Now we have unique primary keys for all our data and we also know there are some duplications. Let's try to execute this command 
and see the output. So somewhere something is not correct yet. Okay, this one. So Tony has been repeated. So we can have a different ID for Tony. Let's say we have Tony as 21. If I to execute the command once again, it should be clear now. Okay, it still has some duplication somewhere. Yes, it's right here. Let's keep this as 22. Okay, I think we made a lot of duplications somehow. Let's quickly take a look if uh, all the major keywords are duplicated or not. So we copied from Gloria. So after Gloria, we we will remove these. So Gloria. So we just make sure we're, we're trying to make sure that the primary keys are unique here. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, 22, there you go. So now we believe that all the primary keys are unique. Let's try to run this command and see if we get the same error or not, no. So now all the data has been inserted into the duplicate table, which is employee table two. And we also have some duplicate entries. Now, how would you recognize that we don't have any duplicates or how would you recognize which data has been exactly duplicated and how do you even remove it now the old distinct command is not going to work anyhow let's see if it works by any chance so when i try to run the distinct command it will give me all 22 rows with all the duplicate entries right in this case we can use the first method which was the join and where condition method right let's try to do that so we are going to use the delete command delete t1 from employee table to t1 in a join In a join employee table two as t2 so we are declaring two different tables so we are considering t1 as one table and t2 as the next or second table so t1 and t2 are the copies of the same existing employee table two right now we are joining these two tables and we are having a var condition over here so from table t1 we're going to eliminate table one from table two where we have an intersection and where we have the employee ids greater than employee id in empl okay let's not confuse so let's execute the command first okay let's execute this to understand what i mean here so here when we go a little down you can see 14 for tony right actual employee id of tony is 9 but we have 14 for tony and gloria we have 18 19 20 and again for kt we have 22 the actual number of kt is 10 right so now it will try to recognize the highest number of employee id so it will recognize the highest employee id number and it will retain it and rest all the numbers will be eliminated so this is the first where condition and we are also giving a string comparison function where SQL will try to identify if there is a similarity between the employee name of the first table and the employee name of the second table. And we know that when you give the string comparison operation, if it results in zero, it means the strings are equal. If it results in one, it means the strings are not matching. Now that we understood the logic of this particular statement let's try to execute it so there you go so we have executed the command now let's try to see what's left in the table there you go 
Now we should be having the usual 13 number of employees in our table. And you can see that the records are retained where the employee ID number is the highest. Remember we had the number 10 as employee ID for Katie and we have that over here. In case if you want the actual numbers to be placed however they were, you can make a small change to your command. All you need to do is keep this particular or change this particular greater than symbol to lower than symbol and you will retain the actual numbers of the employee records. So that's how you can eliminate the duplicate entries in the table. And if you ask me, hey, only two conditions are enough. Don't you think the pin code and, uh, you know, we also have pin code and the address of the employees. Don't you think that is also important? Yes, you can also do that. You can make some minor modifications to your code and try to include all those remaining things. And again, you can do the same right now let's try to eliminate the data in our table let's truncate it and we should be having no data left in our table and let's try to insert the duplicate entries once again and okay before that let's try to do this particular execution remember we try to keep the employee id let's try to execute that and try to print it and we should be having the actual numbers over here right as expected now let's again truncate the data and try to compare the conditions or we will be using the where condition and we'll have all the parameters included in our condition let's truncate the table and now let's try to add the duplicate entries once again there you go we have all the duplicate entries entered now what we will be doing is we will be using the same command but the only change will be the string comparison or the where condition right so you can keep this string comparison if you want or if you can change that let me change that actually so instead of this we will use this particular command where we are trying to compare the employee id so let's keep the employee id as lesser than so that we have the actual employee id numbers and we are using an and condition over here so that uh, this particular condition should be valid and the employee name should be equal to the employee name in t1 and t2 yeah and uh, the next one is here we have the employee address so the employee address in t1 and t2 should also be same and pin code from both the tables should also be same so what we are trying to compare here is we are trying to keep the employee id with the least number or the least value and the names of the employee should be same the address of the employee should be same and the pin code of the employee should be same in that particular condition you can try to delete the record let's try to execute this and there you go the command got executed and now let's try to execute the select command which should give us the final result so here you go control enter and you have the data here so now we have successfully eliminated all the duplicates by comparing the values in each and every single column and we also have retained the original id of each and every employee now that's how you try to eliminate duplicates in sql tables and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources like ppt and code executed then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here